Hey, it's Llama here, and welcome back to the final episode in our cave tour series on the island. The final episode, and that means the final cave. And yep, you guessed it. Today, it's the hard ice cave. I'm going to take you on a tour through the cave today. So we're going to do this cave on the Baryonyx. Uh, the Baryonyx that I've got here today, it's level 291. It's got around 15k health, 815 melee, and it's got a 124 saddle on it. So um, a cat saddle. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's got some mutations, but it's uh, the, they're just stacked pretty poorly. So it's got a couple of mutations on uh, melee and one mutation on health, I think. And that's about it. But it's been leveled up quite a bit. Uh, what else have we got? So I've got some flak to keep me safe and some fur to keep me warm. Um, I've also got a long neck rifle for shooting stuff that's a long way off. Uh, I've got a pokey stick for hitting stuff that's uh, close up. And we've got a metal pick to uh, help us get through some of the crystal which may be blocking our way. Um, I've also brought the standard like some health brews, I've got um, some stimulant and I've got some food. And you'll notice I've got a lot of rare flowers. Now, the rare flowers are really what is going to keep us alive through this cave, uh, which is interesting. This is something that I only learned recently. Um, Baryonyx itself, now this is the, uh, this is the crash point, if you like, um, where you cannot get most stuff through, but the Baryonyx can get through there. Um, and the Baryonyx can actually access the entire cave uh, without uh, any issues at all. Um, so it's a really good uh, dino to take in here, especially if you've got a pretty decent health pool. Um, the other thing that the Baryonyx has going for it in its advantage is that it will heal based on fish. So we've got fish uh, in the water pools in this cave and the Baryonyx will actually uh, heal, rapid heal very quickly um, from those fish because we have a lot of high level bad stuff in this cave. Um, now, I'm going to first, I'm gonna chomp down on some of these rare flowers. So I mentioned I've got, uh, I've got a good 600 rare flowers with me. Now the rare flowers are interesting because Let's just hit some of those because whilst the downside of rare flowers is everything in the vicinity will aggro on you, um, as all these things are about to do. And we can see now, look at all that stuff. Lots of things all going to be coming for us, all going to be trying to kill us. And we're going to take out some of these guys. Well, hopefully we're going to take out all of these guys. This might take a little while because um, there's a lot of stuff here uh, and it's all very high level stuff. So they've all got very large health pools <laughs> um, and they're going to do a lot of damage as well. So you can see the uh, the damage that, um, that they're doing. But as I'm getting hit, I'm also healing by eating the fish in this pool. Uh, so Whilst I'm getting hit pretty hard by these guys, uh, I'm not actually losing any health at this stage. There we go, all right. What else we got? We've got some more wolves, some more monkeys. We've got some bears. Now, the rare flowers, as I said, not just to aggro things, but if we find a Pelovia in the ground, and there's gotta be one around here somewhere, um, because they're pretty standard in here, <laughs> then the rare flowers will actually stop the Pelovia from dismounting you, which makes them invaluable and really makes them uh, the ideal thing for doing this cave. Because honestly, this cave, these high level bears and high level wolves and high level yetis and so on are a big problem, but the dismount off the Pelovia is what will kill you. Because whilst the Baryonyx has got, there you go, there's Pelovia. Now, if I didn't have that rare flower buff going, they would have dismounted me. And that guy. But because I've got this buff going, the Pelovia do not actually dismount you. Which is just awesome. I, have, uh, I only learned this recently. But what a game changer it is for this cave. So, we're going to keep going, I'm going to keep chomping away on all this stuff. I want that yellow loot crate over there. 
So we're going to clear this chamber out of all the things. And you can see my health pool taking a bit of damage. I go through here. I just want to make sure. That, there we go. Another Pullovia. I want to make sure we get them all out of the ground. Uh, because I don't want to get surprised by any if the rare flower buff wears off. There we go. We've got a wolf. Nice. More wolves. These are coming from around the corner now. That's okay. So I'll take out as much of this stuff. So I'm taking a little bit of damage, but we know we can heal up um, from the fish in the pool because there are still plenty of fish there. So we want to take, I won't say we want to take as much damage as possible, but we definitely want to um, get as many things aggroed here as we can um, so that we can clear as much of this as possible before we um, head into the pool to go and get our health regen. There we go. Now there are going to be, I'm going to try and do this cave all in one take, so this is going to be a long video, um, to be fair, but I think it's important that um, uh, not only to help you navigate the cave, um, but also to really get an idea of the kind of stuff that's in here um, and, um, and the sort of damage that it's going to do. So here we go. You can see I'm really, because I had a few fish on the way, I'm kind of still good health. We've got a hundred seconds left on our uh, rare flower buff. Yeah, see, we're fully healed again because of the fish. I'm going to get out of the uh, the water because I don't want to waste the fish, to be honest. All right, got this guy, 295. These Yeti are pretty tanky, I've got to say. Uh, at least this guy's not mate boosted, so. Oh, here we go. Still going, still going. Got a minute left on our rare flower buff. Uh, I think we've cleared all the Pallovia out of the ground. Um, but I just want to be sure. I don't want to take the risk that there could still be one here. No, I think we're okay. Alright, let's maybe. Let's get over here. We can grab this drop. Um, and then we can move on to the next section of the cave, clear a little bit, and then we'll probably come back and uh, eat some more fish, I dare say. Oh, there we go. Not bad. Take that. Loot drops in this cave are pretty good. So we got a 298 blueprint for an Ascendant... Uh, Rifle, and we got... Oh, that's a pretty decent flak helmet, the Duron. That's pretty good. All right. Now, rare flower buff's just about finished. We don't want it to finish, so we're going to chomp some more of those flowers. Chomp some more fish. Like that. And then we're going to come around the corner here. Uh, we're going to come around here because here is another loot drop location. Uh, so, I want to see if there's anything that's going to pounce us out here. No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like we're okay. But there's going to be lots of stuff down there. So, let's grab that loot crate. Oh, see what we got. Yeah. Okay. Alright, that might be handy for uh, doing a dragon fight with a deer. Seems to be the new trend. Uh, some more fish here. So the other thing I'm going to do is, as I go through, so I don't want to kill all the fish necessarily, um, but I do want to keep myself a bit of a stockpile of fish meat. Um, and the reason for that is that uh, as you go through the cave, there will be areas of the cave where you may need to heal and there may not be any live fish for you to do that. Um, so at that point, you really want to be able to... Um, go through and use the fish that you've got in your Barry's inventory. The regular meat, though, is of no use to us. So we're going to take the fish meat out. Oh, here's a wolf. Okay. Oh, here's a couple of wolves. It's all right. Interrupted me. It's okay. It's okay. 
Uh, anyway. Uh, the other thing is that's worth mentioning is exactly where I'm standing, there is another loot crate spawn location. Um, the other thing about this cave is there are no explorer notes in this cave. So this cave is one of the ones that uh, does not have any explorer notes. I don't think neither of the ice caves actually have explorer notes in them. Um, so uh, you can actually do your um, full explorer note run um, without ever actually entering this cave. All right, pump up the rare flowers again. You can see why I brought 600. I want plenty, plenty to see me through here. Um, we've got, uh, we're gonna have a lot of stuff in this area. Um, we're gonna have Pelovia in here. Yeah, we've got bears. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take out as much of this stuff as we can, and then we're gonna go in the next chamber um, and there are more fish. So we'll be able to heal ourselves in the next chamber once we've uh, got rid of all these guys. The other benefit of having the Baryonyx is, to be quite frank, is that um, you've also got the option to run. So, more rare flowers. There is a, uh, I can see there's a Pelovia just up in front. It, uh, not that one, the one in the ground, that one. <laughs> Um, we want to get rid of that for sure. Now the other thing is if you want to run through this cave um, quicker than I'm going to go through it today. So I'm going to go through it sort of not reasonably slowly. I'm going to try and get through it quickly. But um, but I'm not going to race through it. Because I do want to show you where all the uh, loot drop locations are. Or at least the ones I know about anyway. Um, but if you were just going for the artifact. Um, you could get through this cave a lot quicker. Um, just by running past a lot of this stuff, to be quite honest. I mean, you don't have to fight everything in this cave. There are certain choke points that you have to clear, um, but you do not by any means have to fight the entire cave, uh, which is probably what we're going to do today. Um, and there's not really much benefit in uh, clearing the entire cave, to be honest, because um, you will find that on your way back out again, um, everything will have respawned <laughs> because it just does. All right, we glitched here. Oh, this isn't good. Okay. The um, I've got to say the Yeti do a knockback, which can sometimes actually be quite useful. So if you get stuck um, somewhere, <laughs> then uh, sometimes the Yeti will actually knock you out of the area where you were stuck. So you saw I was kind of glitching there a little bit on the side of the uh, ice, um, which was getting me a little bit worried. Uh, but because of the fact, there's another Pelovia, um, because of the fact that the Yeti knocked us out of there, um, we uh, we managed to get ourselves free, which is good. You don't want to be you don't want to be stuck in this cave. Trust me, this is not the cave to get stuck in. All right, let's keep going. Uh, more flowers. We're going to basically keep this rare flower buff going through the entire cave. Uh, we'll run around here. We've got a drop here. So here's one of the drop locations. We're going to walk up to it and just make sure that uh, there is nothing nearby that is going to paint us. Because we definitely do not want to end up um, down there without the Baryonyx. Alright, we look like we're okay. Let's get that drop. What have we got? Oh, we got some fur. We got a saddle. I don't know what saddle that was. Let's have a look. Get back on Barium. We're a bit safer. We can look. Uh, a Megalosaurus saddle. 124. Okay. Not a great deal of use on the island, but um, that kind of thing is worth hanging on to for aberration, to be honest. Uh, all right, let's get the same as before. We're going to get the fish meat out of our inventory. Uh, we're going to drop everything, um, put the fish meat back in the barry again, and uh, try and keep our weight down because we don't want to end up carrying too much weight in this cave. Um, you want to keep yourself rather nimble. The uh, rare flowers are quite heavy. Uh, I'm going to drop this wooden shield. I definitely don't need that. Uh, and let's chomp on some fish and heal ourselves up. 
Like that. There we go. There we go. All right, fully healed. Okay, get some more rare flowers going. Okay, that's looking pretty clear. So next we want to head through here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> looking pretty clear. There's a Pullovia jumping out of nowhere. There's a polar bear. So same as with the previous um, area, to be honest. I'm going to kill as much stuff here as I can. Um, and then if I take a reasonable amount of damage, I'm going to come back into this chamber and I'm going to eat some more fish and heal up again. Um, because as we get further through the cave there are going to be less and less opportunities to um, eat fish. Uh, and therefore we'll just take a lot of damage and um, we need to manage our health very carefully. Uh, let's get this guy done. Sweet. Rare flowers. Pelovia. <laughs> Let's go through into the next area. We have any more Pelovia on the ground here? All right, now we're into this next section. Looks like there's nothing in here. I have a feeling that's a render distance issue. <laughs> uh, I've got a feeling there's more in here than it looks like. Um, and we do actually have fish in here as well. So, oh, do we? Oh, it doesn't look like we do, actually. All right. Um, so, to let you know, over here, um, and I'll just show you in this little pool area, uh, sometimes you'll find a loot crate spawn there. Um, there isn't one there today, uh, but, uh, but sometimes you'll get one there. Uh, I'm going to go over here, and now I'm going to actually shoot... Um, these bears and try and get their attention because I don't want... Oh, we've got a monkey. Okay, fair enough. We've got a yeti. Let's get the bears as well. I don't want to deal with everything at once in this room. Um, so I'm actually quite happy dealing with the things from up there first. And then we're going to shoot the bears through that gap that we can see and we're going to get them to come over because I'm fairly certain that when I go around the corner... Um, into that area where you can see those other two bears, I'm fairly certain there's a whole load of stuff in there. <laughs> and um, and I don't want to sort of come across it all in one go. So the, the good thing about the creatures in this cave, actually, so if, for example, around there, there will be wolves, there will be yeti, there will be um, monkeys, uh, sorry, yeti, there will be yeah, wolves, pullovia, that's the other one, um, all in that section around there. Now, if I stand here and I shoot the bears, just the bears will aggro. Everything else will stay there. So I can now stand here and get all of the bears to come towards me. As you can see, they're heading in there. Um, and nothing else will aggro on me. So you can see there's a Pelovia there. There's a Yeti there. They're all just standing still, not doing anything. I can get the oh, flying bears. Um, I can get the bears over here, kill them, deal with them, get them out of the way, divide and conquer, which is really one of the uh, the tricks to doing this cave successfully. Um, and then when I've killed all the bears, then I can go and shoot myself a um, a yeti if I want to, uh, and deal with that one next. I'm going to chase this bear down because he's running away cowardly bear he is. Level 275, you'd think he'd be uh, a little bit more committed. Alright, we've got 48 seconds still on our rare flower buff before we need to uh, kick in a little bit more. Uh, going to deal with these bears. Oh, we've got some fish there as well. That's going to help heal us. More rare flowers. We do have, this is the original um, Yeti, I think, that attacked us when we entered the chamber. Uh, so he's obviously still aggroed on us. But that's okay. Get rid of him. Nice. Alright, now, we're going to go up onto this next section here. 
and oh we did actually aggro we must have close enough to aggro stuff because the polovia came for us that was uh just casually sitting there so we can get rid of the polovia we can probably just run around there and get rid of everything else now to be honest um i don't think it's really going to be that much of an issue it's the bears that hit particularly hard um they're the ones that you don't want to mess around with uh, and i think we've aggroed including this guy now i think we've aggro probably aggroed all of the bears um if not most of them anyway all right here we go we're gonna go over here we're gonna chomp down on some fish There we go. Barry is now fully healed, which is good. And we will get range to, what have we got coming here? Wolf. Okay. Yep. Deal with that. Uh, ah, here we go. Here's some more stuff. Yeah. Oh, there was another bear left by the look of it. Um, so you can see why I didn't really want to just sort of barrel on around this corner and deal with everything all at once. Um, not such a good idea, uh, to be honest. Because there's some hard hitters here, and we want to make sure we're taking them out. There's the Yeti. We'll do the Yeti. Now around the corner here we've got another loot drop, so that one has actually spawned. Uh, that's another yellow drop. Oop. Okay. Yes, come on. Another wolf. A lot of stuff in this cave. Uh, let's hit more rare flowers because there are Pelovia over there. I do not want to forget that rare flower buff. I'm probably going to hear me say it like 50 times while we're in this cave. But that rare flower buff is so critical, it is not funny. Let's go. I'm on Polovia. Actually, you know what? Let's just get all of these guys out of the ground. And all these. Oh, look at them. There's loads of them. Everywhere. Polovia City. Can you imagine if we didn't have the rare flowers, how bad our life would be right now? Okay, I can't really see them, but I'm assuming I'm doing damage. <laughs> some of them are stuck in the water. Um, some of them are hitting us. We're going to take care of these fairly easily. They don't have uh, the tanky health pool of the Yeti or the Polar Bear. Um, they do a bit of knockback. That's really, you've just got to watch their knockback. And obviously they're painting, but, um, you know... While we got the rare flowers, it's not bothering us at all. So, okay. Let's see, we got more Polovia. More Polovia. Let's chat down on some fish while we're doing this. Look at that fish. That thing is huge. <laughs> Look at that. Can you imagine taming a shadow main with that thing? 2.6 saber tooth salmons. Massive! How much fish meat we get from that? 456 fish meat on one times. <laughs> That's just crazy. Alright, rare flowers. Not letting those stop. Uh, I'm going to go over here. Uh, I think we've got everything in this chamber sorted. So I'm going to hop off now. Oh, we're lagging. I hate lagging in this cave. Oh, there we go. Okay. Makes me nervous. Alright, let's see. We're going to grab this. What have we got? RG Saddle. What looks like an Equus BP, I think. Back on the Barry, so we're safe. How's our rare flower store going? Yeah, we got heaps. We still have 450 left. 
and we got a good two minutes on the current buff. Let's move on. So now we head round here and this section here is where the crystal is now it looks like we've got a load of sleeping bags here so see where this crystal is normally there's a crystal barrier that goes across this section of the cave of this tunnel um, and you need your pick in order to get through it but it looks like someone's placed a load of sleeping bags down here um, and uh, probably to grab this loot drop i would expect and um, what that's done is that's prevented the crystal from respawning so let's just just gonna chill out here for a second see if anything comes for us around the corner before we grab that loot drop I'm hearing music yeah there we go see you gotta be careful you jump off at an inopportune moment and it can all be over very quickly <laughs> hear the battle music that's always a bad sign now this case, this uh, tunnel is interesting there are going to be a lot of um, polar bears uh, at the end of this tunnel a lot of polar bears a lot of everything a lot of polar bears a lot of wolves a lot of yetis um, and a lot of pelovia in the ground um, the trick here uh, again divide and conquer so what we need to be doing is we need to be leading stuff down here um, and dealing with it bit by bit uh, things like the yetis will uh, attack you for a bit and then they'll sort of run away um, so you don't have to fight all of them at once which is really good um, but uh, we don't want to get here we go yeah but this will take us a little while to get through all this I'm telling you now I mean we haven't even gone around the corner yet um, and the rare flowers are just attracting all this stuff um, but I'm telling you now when we go around that corner you will get an indication as to how much stuff is actually there um, and it's a lot. Let's get rid of these guys. Yeah, okay, nice. Alright, the battle music's kind of stopped. I'm tempted just to grab that loot crate now before something else comes. Let's do it. What could possibly go wrong? Alright, oh, we got a flak BP. Can't complain about that. Let's have a look. That's all right. Jura's a bit, but it's a uh, capped level flak BP. All right, more rare flowers. Definitely need them going through this section. I can tell you for a fact. I'm going to go around the corner here, and there's just going to be a wall of death waiting for us. There's there's not. <laughs> Okay, ah, oh, there we go. I didn't go far enough. Yeah, there we go. Here's all the things. <laughs> now, what we might want to do is we might want to actually get rid of a load of this stuff and then go back into the previous chamber and heal up uh, with some of the fish meat in there because we're going to take a bit of a pasting here and it's a little while before we get to the next chamber with fish. So we're definitely going to want to be fully healed leaving this section if we're going to make it all the way through to the next section where there are fish uh, you can see yeah, there's a whole load of stuff here there's more still around the corner there uh, they're all stuck on each other which is brilliant uh, the problem is once i kill something then they're all gonna smash me all at once all right you can use the uh, tunnel to your advantage here so only so many bears can fit through this gap um, and therefore what you can do is make sure that uh, you're just kind of leading them a couple at a time down here um, and then at least they're not all hitting you at once and doing a massive amount of damage all right hey yep we've got some yetis here uh, keeping the rare flowers going not taking the chance of uh, that rare flower buff running out There's another bear. More yetis. You can definitely see why they call this the hard ice cave. This is 
Oh, oh, more bears. <laughs> more bears. Come on. Come on, bears. And look at the pelovia. You can see all those pelovia in the ground. So we go, we go around here towards where that second bear is and we will get absolutely pantsed by probably six or seven pelovia all at once. Um, so again, I do want to get rid of the bears. The other one probably won't come towards us because I think it's stuck on the pelovia mains. So we'll get rid of that one. More rare flowers. Let's go in. There we go. Look at that. All of those. There's more pelovia left. We didn't get all of them. We only got a couple. Get you. Get you. Get you. Yes. 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 Oh, we're a little encumbered. There's another one. Thank you. Yep. Can we get any more? What else is around here? Because like I said, I do want to go back and um, heal up. Ah, here we go. Let's get some of this stuff out of the way before we do that. Make the most of the uh, the fish spawn behind us. So, now we're going to go back through this tunnel. Back past the sleeping bags. Oop. Don't want to fall off the edge. Uh, back into here, and let's get some of these fish. Some of this good fish healing. That's what we need. Nice. Look at that. Get that rapid heal going. This is why the Baryonyx is just perfect for this cave. Okay, we're out of stamina, which is not great. I should have thought of that. <laughs> Let's get... Now the fish are hitting me. Let's just chill out here for a sec and regain some stam. Uh, let's get some more of those rare flowers going. We are not quite at the halfway point of our rare flowers, but that's okay. We won't need as many on the way out because a lot of on the way out will just be running through, to be honest. Uh, we don't need to um, clear the cave on the way out. All right, past here, past where that loot drop was. So hopefully nothing's respawned here. I think fish might spawn in there, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but anyway, don't worry about that. We can now move around here into this section. And yep, we got some more bad stuff, as expected. Uh, now this section, you can actually use the um, geography to your advantage. So we can take out these guys up here at this top level. Um, easily enough and then uh, we got some pelovia there we probably want to get out of the ground too oh and a bear that made it up the hill but what I was gonna say is a lot of this uh, stuff that you can actually get to aggro up against this ice wall um, and you can just chomp them while they're down there uh, you don't have to actually go down there and fight them uh, oh Unless you're on sprint like I was. The other thing you can do is you can just avoid them. Because, in all honesty, uh, you can run past this section. Um, and maybe I'll show you that actually. Let's do the more rare flower thing. Uh, I do want to get rid of these guys. But I don't want to take too much damage here. Because we've kind of had our fish meat. Uh, so let's go 
I'm gonna go up here. It's a bit framey actually at the moment. And then over here. Now, actually, and it's not spawned at the moment, but the reason why there's a million sleeping bags here <laughs> and a UD and a Baryonyx and a Megatherium is that this is one of the red loot drop spawn areas. So a red loot drop does spawn here. This is one of the loot drops where you can get yourself a, um, a Megatherium, uh, not Megatherium, a th Fairy Saddle blueprint uh, in this one. So, um, so this is sort of well worth... Uh, checking out um, up on this section not only that but it gives you a bit of a safe vantage point from all the stuff that wants to kill you for a bit at least anyway so then you can just jump across here we've got some pelovia there which are going to come out at us that's fine deal with those um, and then we kind of got to get into the next section of the cave um, which means we might have to kill a fair bit of stuff that's downstairs. And we will probably take a bit of damage doing that, to be honest. Now, here we go. So, all this stuff here. Because where we need to go um, is... Uh, through there so again that's another see those sleeping bags um, that's another section of the cave where uh, there should be crystal spawning um, but there isn't because someone's placed sleeping bags in there they've obviously done that to stop the crystal from spawning by the looks of it um, now we should be able to just sort of stand up on this ledge here they'll probably still hit us um, but that's okay they'll do yeah there you go see um, but they'll do less damage uh, while we're up here than they would if we were down there. Um, so we'll just sort of chill here for a bit. Um, keep pumping rare flowers. Deal with all these guys. Bit by bit. And then we can uh, head on into the next section of the cave. And we're kind of getting near the artifact chamber now. So um, we've only got, I think we've got two more um, sections to run through. Uh, and then we are where the artifact is. Uh, so here we've just got to be a little bit patient, to be honest. These um, guys are going to run away for a bit. And then they're going to come back and aggro on us again. Um, and we're just going to have to sort of wait it out. Uh, we could hop down and kill them but they'll do a lot more damage to us that way and at this stage in the cave uh, not taking damage is really important no right. well there's probably let's let's go there's there's enough or you know you enough of them let's say um, to uh, to take them on now now the next section there's a whole load of stuff. <laughs> Again, uh, we kind of want to be careful in that next section because you've got a load of uh, polar bears, a load of, um, well, everything again, polar bears, yetis, uh, the, um, the polovia, obviously, the wolves. Um, the wolves do a lot of damage in big packs. Um, so again, you've got to be careful. I don't want to get knocked too far back because I don't want to aggro all the stuff further back in the cave that we've managed to avoid. So let's just get this guy out of the way. Like that. Let's pump some more rare flowers. And then what have we got here? We've got Pulovia. I know that there... Yeah, look, there we go. I was going to say, I know there's a load of bad stuff in this section. Um, so we're going to take... This is where we're probably going to take the bulk of our damage. Um, this and when we actually get into the artifact chamber. Um, both of those sections are pretty bad. Uh, so we'll try and clear what we can here before we move into that next area. Um, there's going to be more stuff in there still. We're doing all right, actually. We're not doing too bad damage-wise. Now, 
Now, the one thing you do have to watch out for, so we've been using the live fish to heal ourselves. Um, and as I said, we've been keeping a whole load of fish as we go uh, to make sure that if we need to heal and we don't have any live fish, we've still got something we can use. Um, and we may end up doing that. Now, in where the artifact chamber is, there is a pool with live fish in there, but there's also a red um, loot crate spawn there. And to be honest, there uh, people have a habit of doing leaving sleeping bags and tames there, um, which will prevent the fish from spawning, uh, which can be a bit of an issue. So if you make it all the way to the end of the cave uh, and then you can't heal your baryonyx, uh, then you're going to have a bad time of it. Uh, how's our buff going? We're good. We've got plenty. So we've got more stuff in here that's not going to want to be our friend. There we go. More Pelovias. Another bear. That's uh, quite a few Pelovias. All right. Get these guys out of the way. Whoa. Okay. Gee, I don't want to take full damage. Wouldn't that be crazy? Arionix dies from fall damage after being pushed up in the air for Pelovias. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. The knockback is insane. Look, how's this guy pushing me around like that? Seriously? <laughs> All right. More rare flowers. Let's keep this up. All right, now we head into here, around this corner. I don't know if we've got any Pelovia here. Let's see. Oh, we've got some stuff there. Tend to get stuff spawns in the wall here too, so you've got to be careful, including Pelovia, that will pounce out of the wall at you. So be careful. Um, because you're better off... Um, not uh, not losing yourself here. Now, I'm, uh, the other thing is, so it looks like someone's come in and taken the loot crates probably while we've been in the cave because people what people tend to do is they'll spawn in at the sleeping bag, um, grab the loot crate, um, and then chuck their stuff in a tame. Um, I'm just looking. There are... Is that tames down there? Looks like there's some tame stuff down there. Um, I can see saddles. So I'm guessing someone's grabbing the loot crate. There is one that spawns just where those sleeping bags are in on that uh, thing just across the water. Um, and then there's another loot crate that spawns at the end of this channel. Um, and we'll check that one out in a minute, see if it's there. Um, but this one isn't. And uh, so this one and the one where the Megatherium and the UT are, are really the two good loot crates in this cave. Um, unfortunately, it looks like we've missed out on them today um, because, as I said, people tend to just respawn in here on sleeping bags, empty the loot crate, and then fast travel back out again. Um, and they keep going until they get something good. Uh, it's unfortunate, but look, that's what happens on official. Uh, there's nothing you can do about it. It is what it is. Um, but the artifact chamber, which is where we're going next, is through here. Now, you may remember, we'll see if we've got uh, anything coming around the corner here, but you may remember I mentioned from the hard water cave that uh, in the hard water cave there was a little tunnel bit just before you got to the artifact chamber and that in Ark Survival Evolved, that's where everything used to congregate um, and the artifact chamber was empty. Well, this, uh, this hard ice cave is the same. So in Ark Survival Evolved, everything used to be here and in the tunnel leading into the artifact chamber. In Ark Survival Ascended, everything is in the artifact chamber itself. So you can uh, actually get uh, a lot of stuff in the chamber. So if you get to this point um, and you're used to doing this on Ark Survival Evolved, don't think you're done, because <laughs> you're not. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. Get this guy, girl. You can see she's mate boosted, so there's more. There's more to come. There's more to come. And there will be, I'll tell you now, there's going to be a lot of stuff in that chamber. 
um, that we're going to have to deal with before we can get to the artifact. Oh, come on. on. And I'm a little concerned because I've got to say I'm not seeing any fish um, because I think someone's left some tames in the water there um, for them to chuck stuff in from the loot crate. So I'm pretty pleased that we brought our fish meat to heal by. Um, so we've still got 10k health. I don't think we'll need to heal yet. Let's save it because we're going to need our maximum health uh, to get out of this cave in one piece, to be honest. Oh, rare flowers. Gee, I bet someone was screaming that in the background. How bad would that have been? Wouldn't want to die now, would you? That would be bad. Let's get some bears' attention. Come on, bears. Shoot him in the butt. That's it. Are you stuck? Oh, pull over you. <laughs> All right. Pulovia and bears. Pulovia gone. Bears. More Pulovia. It's just a laugh a minute here, isn't it? Look at that. There's going to be a lot of bears here. You can see them all. They're, they're queuing up. Um, again, if you can use this tunnel to your advantage, um, what we're doing here, we're probably getting hit by maybe two of these bears and the other two weren't hitting us. Um, so again, divide and conquer. Uh, you can see there's a whole load of other nasty stuff sitting back there waiting to go. Waiting to have a crack. Oh, you see the Pelovia jumping out of the ground. Okay, we're on... We're not at half health. We're on probably two-thirds health at the moment, which is okay. That's all right for where we are, to be honest. Um, this is the last chamber. So once we've cleared this area... We can grab the artifact. You can see it there, just in front of the monkey statue. Uh, these guys are stuck on each other, which is pretty good, actually. That's going to work to our advantage. Um, and there we go. Now we've got a load of wolves. Oh, Baryonyx gets a level. Wish we had time to stop and apply that. All right. That's the other thing. This cave, I mean, good for leveling. If you are, I mean, this character is maxed, but if you're not, you know, this is like, um, this is like Swamp Cave on steroids, this cave. All right, let's see. We're going to still do more rare flowers. Because there will be more Pelovia in here. There we go. See? Guaranteed. That might be it. Let's see. We're going to run up. Whoa. A bit framey still. There we go. Look at that. Nice. I feel like we're okay. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Glitching on the artifact container. That's okay. All right. Well, there we go. All the way through the cave. That is the Artifact of the Strong, the hardest artifact to get in this game. At the end of the hardest cave in this game, done solo with one Baryonyx. And all that is left now for us to do is to get out of here alive. So what we're going to do, we're going to head down. Uh, I'm going to head into the next chamber because I want to make sure that stuff doesn't respawn in there while we're healing up. Yeah. So we're going to go through here. Uh, now, the other thing I mentioned, there was one more loot drop location. Um, that is down there. Um, but it looks like there's not one spawn there at the moment. But I can see fish. So here we go. We're going to go in the water. Uh, hopefully it's just fish. Look at that. Nice. Oh, 
Brilliant. Okay, so... We are saved. Full health. Still getting attacked by fish, but full health. Alright, our Baryonyx is out of stamina. Which, actually, you've got to watch. That's the Sabertooth Salmon, because they will drain your stam. Um, so, the Baryonyx would just sit here and chill. Let him recover his stamina. Um, and let's add that level. We had a level to add. Let's add that. Why not? Get rid of that stuff. Um, our rare flower buff has worn off. Now, what have we got? So we've used pretty much exactly half of our rare flowers, which is perfect. So we've got plenty to get us out of here. Uh, I'm going to pump that buff again. Uh, Barry actually seems to be stuck. Oh, okay. Well, that's not ideal. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, we're encumbered. Oh, gee, I tell you what. Talk about panic. Let's go fear fish. Let's get that out. Let's drop that. Oh, I'll tell you what. I thought I was stuck in the wall. Um, I wasn't. I was uh, merely encumbered. <laughs> that scared the life out of me then. All right, we'll take that. We don't need all this fish meat now. We had... We way overcompensated for that. Um, let's just make sure that's all we're dropping. Yes, it is. Drop that. Look at that. Now we can move. That's better. <laughs> Bit of uh, unnecessary panic. There you go. So that's what I was saying. See, someone's parked Thames in here. Um, luckily, it hasn't actually stopped the fish from spawning, which is um, which I'm quite pleased about. Um, but uh, but obviously they're using that to access the loot crate that would spawn over there um, and the one that spawns in the corner. So anyway, it wasn't to be today, which is a bit of a shame, but that's not what we were here for. We were here to give a bit of a guided tour through the cave. Now we're going to head back. Now stuff respawns in here pretty quickly, I'm not going to lie, so we'll probably find... There's a fair bit of stuff here. Let's try and run through as best we can, actually. Um, we're going to go through here. Whoa, okay, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. All right, we're going to have to fight it out. Oh, I didn't want to do this. Okay, that's all right. We can do this. I'm sure we can do this. We've got this. <laughs> I was going to try and run past, and then I saw, like, 17 polar bears blocking the entrance. Uh... <laughs> so, we've just taken more damage than I wanted to at this stage, I guess. Um, I was hoping to try and do that uh, trick where we just ran around the corner there and uh, went up to um, where the loot crate was. Uh, because I wouldn't mind checking out that uh, other red loot crate location on the way out just in case it's respawned, because they usually respawn about every half an hour. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, there's a, there's a thing. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm also going to go back here and check this other one out. Because like I said, while stuff respawns quite quickly, it doesn't respawn that quickly. Let's see. No, it's still not there. It was worth a try. All right, let's head back. We will head out of the cave this time. This is going to be a long enough uh, run through, cave run through as it is. Uh, we don't need to make it any longer than possible uh, than it needs to be by uh, hanging around for loot crates to respawn. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to run past here. We've got a Pelovia there is going to jump us. Oh, we do want to check out that other loot crate location. So let's go up here. Let's go around here. Is it there? It's there. Oh, did we? Yeah, we made the jump. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's one of the loot crates I was talking about. So it has respawned. That's really good. Let's hop off the barry. Let's see what we got. 
Uh, okay. Well, I'm not going to say I'm not disappointed there. Um, <laughs> a quet saddle blueprint. Okay. That's going to go up there with the blueprints we'll never use. Uh, <laughs> I don't think we can jump back over there, actually. No, we can't. Uh, so, <laughs> we cannot. So, we're going to run around here. Uh, more rare flowers. Why not? Why wouldn't you? Let's keep going. We're going to go all the way out here. Another Pelovi is going to jump. Well, there we go. Bye-bye. We're just going to leave him behind us. And we're going to run through this section. Uh, now, as I said, stuff's respawned in here, as you can see. Oh, lots of stuff. Okay, lots of stuff here. Wow, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Now, the other option we've got, if we can get free, is we can actually try and lead this stuff into the other chamber. If we can get free. There we go, we're free. So we can lead all this stuff now in here. Is it coming? Some of it's coming. Now we just need to watch our stam. And obviously the Baryonyx picks the most opportune moment to uh, go to the toilet. As always tends to happen. Uh, there we go, we got some bears down there, so now we should be able to now run around here. We've left a couple of bears behind, got some yetis <laughs> doing their pathfinding thing. Well done guys, good job. But we've at least got a couple of bears out of the way to uh, make our pathway through here a little bit simpler. Uh, we've got a couple more still to go. Another yeti. So we're still taking a bit of damage here. Um, again, we're down to probably two-thirds health. That's okay. I'm not too concerned at this stage. Now, uh, this guy's got 15k health. Um, you can do this with a Barry with only 10 um, if you're managing your health pool um, effectively. Let's get these guys out. Well, I can't really see what I'm doing because I'm kind of hemmed in. But I know I'm hitting him. There we go. All right, that's that. Gee, okay. Make sure we got the rare flower thing going. Oh, that was, yeah. So that was the really bad area in here. This is where the loot crate spawn is. Uh, has it respawned? It has not. Sometimes that will respawn while you're in the cave. Uh, that's not unusual, to be honest. Uh, then we come into this area whole load of stuff over there but we only want to go down this way so on here we can kind of shortcut a little bit and go straight in the water here and we can then just hit all these fish because these are going to help us heal so that if anything else does come and aggro on us we can deal with it uh, and then we basically head out here which is the way that we came in uh, we didn't fully heal let's fully heal we should just, as a precaution, you tend to find, to be honest, if you if you do it correctly, you tend to leave this cave with, like, full health. <laughs> because, um, obviously, you've got salmon in the last uh, cave section, uh, which um, we're sort of heading our way back to now. All right, let's take this opportunity. Oh, we've got some stuff here. All right. Uh, okay. All right, then, I'll kill you. If you insist. Uh, I want to drop some of the uh, weight that we're carrying. Oh, oh, okay, there we go. In fact, I want to drop all the weight we're carrying. I don't, we're not going to need this fish meat now. We are definitely in the clear. We've got um, fish in both... Oh, that didn't drop. Why didn't that drop? We've got uh, fish, live fish, in this chamber and in the next chamber. Um, so we're good. Uh, we have a minute on our rare flowers. I'm going to head around here. 
more rare flowers. I'm going to go around the corner into this um, first section, oh, not first section, but um, the previous chamber. This is where probably the majority of the stuff is going to have respawned because this is the chamber that we were in uh, quite a while ago. Um, but we do have, again, we've got fish, live fish in that chamber. So we don't need to worry too much because worst come to worst, we just head in there and chomp down on the fish while we're killing this stuff and uh, we can heal at the same time. So we are pretty much home free uh, with the artifact at this stage. Uh, not much left to go wrong, to be honest. Uh, the only things that can affect us now are, oh, okay, seriously, are potentially that. <laughs> if we have full damage, we just took quite a bit of full damage there, actually. I noticed they knocked me off and then they took the path. That's a bit unfair. Uh, I was kind of hoping at least they would have jumped off and uh, got stuck down there. But no, we're still going to have to fight them. <laughs> ah, really? Come on, fellas. Right. Jay, tell you what. Just when I say that's it, we're kind of home free. All right, again, rare flowers. I'm not going to let those rare flowers slip. Not now. This is critical, yeah? Um, we come into this section. Again, we've got lots of pelovia. We've got lots of bears. We've got lots of bad stuff here. Uh, we really want to just power on through um, and try and get at the other end. Got a loot crate spawned over there which has piqued my interest so maybe we won't just get out let's kill ourselves some fish heal up deal with all that stuff there we go we're fully healed again let's get all these guys come on you want to fight i'm up for it let's do it let's do it why not because i just saw loot crate and I'm a sucker for a yellow loot crate. All right. Okay, almost done. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's get up here. Need to make sure that, again, like we're kind of home free, but I need to make sure that nothing's going to come and get us while I'm grabbing that loot crate, because that would not be good. All right, I think we're okay. I do have more rare flowers to get. Oh... Uh, Oh, I hate that controller. That monkey guy comes and grabs us, knocks us off the edge there. <laughs> How bad would that be while well, I'm messing around with the controller? All right, here we go. More stuff. More stuff. More bears. Just bear city up here. Come on. You're blocking my path. All right, let's get those. And again, if we need to, we can uh, go straight back into this chamber and uh, we've still got fish there that we can use to heal ourselves as we're killing these guys. So we're all good. Nice. Alright. That monkey's going to run away, isn't he? I can tell. He does. I'm not waiting for him to come back. <laughs> Alright, we're out of here. Let's go. More rare flowers. We've got more pelovia here. Yep, I see you, pelovia. I don't care. But I see you. 
And here we are in the last chamber. That's the uh, loot crate location that I mentioned uh, when we came in here. Um, there wasn't anything there, but there is now. Um, and here we go. We've got uh, a whole load of stuff in this cave has uh, in this section has respawned. So all this stuff that we killed on the way in um, is back here again. Uh, and not happy to see us by the looks of it. Um, they're not thrilled that we made it through the cave. I think they were expecting us to uh, not make it back alive. Well, I've got news. We're fine, thank you for not asking. All right, let's get these guys done. So, um, now we've got a couple of options. I could, I could go for that loot crate. I can almost guarantee there's nothing decent in it, to be fair. Um, I've, oh, there's another one through there as well, still has respawned. Uh, unfortunately, in the other chamber, uh, sort of in towards where we're facing, uh, where all the bad stuff is, <laughs> um, that's where the good crate spawns. So in there is where the, um, the red crate spawns. Uh, but we uh, we won't be getting that one because it's not there at the moment. Well, we got some. We did get some pretty decent loot. We didn't get the uh, the Holy Grail of this cave, which is the Terrazino blueprint. Um, that's the one that everyone comes in here for. Look at all these bears. I'm gonna just go YOLO this, you know, because we got fish in this pond as well. So we should be able to kill the fish at the same time as we're killing the bears and heal at the same time as we're taking damage. Um, so we can just go and aggro everything and go, you know what, I don't care how much damage you're doing because I'm healing as you're hitting me. Until, of course, we run out of fish, at which point our life gets significantly worse. But I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, see, look, all of that stuff. Easy. Piece of cake. Now, you'll notice I'm a bit brave now. We're in the final chamber. Um, and you'll notice I didn't do this when we came in and entered this chamber to start with. <laughs> Wasn't quite so confident at that stage. Uh, this cave is never a certain. Yeah, you can never be sure exactly how this cave's going to go, to be fair. Alright, there's the wolf. Okay, we're really, we're out of stamina, which is uh, less than ideal, but I'm going to kill some fish here. Um, get our health back up again. Then we'll do a quick run round, get all the Pelovia out of the ground, um, and then we can go and uh, do the two loot crates. Um, we will check out this location around the corner here. But normally you'd see like a glow if there was a, uh, a loot crate there. All right, that's it. Yep, you do your business. Get around here. And no, no loot crate there. So that's all right. Only to be expected. A couple of glow here though. Why is that guy not coming out of the ground? Oh, he is. Gee, he took his time. He's having a sleep in. Right. This one out the way. Uh, oh, we're not going to let the buff slip at this stage. Can you imagine if I did let that drop and then come around the corner here and bang another Pelovia jumped out? That could happen. All right, that was not worth getting off the Baryonyx for. <laughs> uh, we'll go around the corner here because I think there's another one here. Uh, I could see the blue glow. Oh, no, actually. So one has not spawned here this time. Um, but that's okay. You can get decent loot out of those blue loot crates, but it's pretty random. And that is it. We are back out of the cave. Uh, so that is the hard ice cave. Uh, now I'm going to chill out in this little chamber here while my rare flowers wear off because I don't want to head out into the snow biome with rare flowers pulsing <laughs> on my baryonyx. Um, because uh, I don't have a death wish, but that's the hard ice cave.
So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got something out of it. Um, I hope you learned something that helps you do the cave on your own. This is now the last of our cave uh, tour series on the island. Um, we've done all the caves now, covered all of them. Um, I'll leave a link up the top to the actual playlist that'll show you all of the caves that we've done, uh, if you're interested, if this might be the first one that you're watching. Um, and uh, and we'll have more caves coming, Scorched Earth only around the corner. Uh, lots of caves are redeveloping the caves in that uh, that map so really looking forward to that and I hope to see you in the next video I'm Lama and I'm out of here